Hi, this is Sherry Starnes, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up an autoresponder in Get Response. Now, uh, uh, if you don't know how to create a Get Response account or how to write a newsletter, just get with me. Uh, if you're already on my team, then I have videos posted already. But if you're watching this for the first time and you don't have any idea how to set up an email and, or use Get Response, then just uh, message me, click the link below, reach out to me some way, and I will help you out. But for now, this video is to show you how to set up an autoresponder. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Okay, this is the my Get Response account. I'm going to log in. Okay, now you have certain campaigns. Okay, I have I have several campaigns. You may only have one, but make sure that your campaign is set to the right one. This is my current campaign. Okay, so what you're going to do next is go over to messages, go down to create auto responder. Okay. Now, if this is your first autoresponder, you want that set to day zero. And this is the campaign. If you decide you need it in a different campaign, you can scroll down. But um, that's where you choose your campaign. And this particular one, this is the first one, you want to send it immediately. Okay, when you get to this part, you're going to create the email. You're going to do this just like any other uh, email that you would send. I'm just going to type test. Make sure that uh, it is going to the right domain that you want or the right email that you want. I'm just going to leave it there for the purpose of this video. And you're going to go to your next step. Looks like I don't have the old option, so we're going to go with start from scratch. And you could use one of these templates. I'm going to go down, scroll down, and I'm going to use a blank template. I'm going to drag my text box here. And I'm also going to put an image here. And then I'm going to put another text box. I do it all at once. Just, well, let's see that. Get rid of that one. And I'll put the text box here. And then you're just going to create your message. I already have one written, so I'm going to just do that. But I, while I'm here, I will show you that you can highlight this. You know, this is really why I don't like the old one, but anyway, I mean the new one. And then you can click on this hyperlink and then you're going to search the URL that you want it to go to. I'll just uh, send it to my Facebook. That's your message and then when or part of it and then you can choose an image and if you don't know how to do this specifically then get with me and I will I will show you how to do that. You can choose any of these images or you can go to my images if you have some already uploaded or, and you can upload them from your computer or from a URL. Just whatever you want to do. I'll just uh, put that one in there. See how big it is? You don't want that for sure. So you can um, click on it and then change it, make it smaller. And go down, and that's a lot of space in there. Whoops, went down too far. Then you can put the rest of your text in here.
and you have everything you can do and you can change the font you can change the color you can bold it highlight it whatever but this video is just about setting up the autoresponder so that's what I'm just going to skip that part save as you can also send yourself a test message to see what it looks like Hopefully it's saving. Then you go to next step. And this 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 part is what makes it an autoresponder. For the first one, you're going to set that to zero. But if I want it to go out on, if it's the second one and you want to go out the second day they opt in, you just change it there and it will go out the second second time. And if you want to go out, you can uncheck any of these. Maybe you don't want to send one on Sunday. Then just uncheck it and it won't go out on Sunday. Or same time signed up or if you want to, if this is the uh, second one for the day, then you can choose same time signed up or with a delay of let's see I want this one to go out four hours after they sign up you just change it okay make sure that you have your it's in the right campaign and then set it if it's the first one you want it to go out same time signed up and um, we'll just go like that I'm going to change this because I don't actually want it to go out right now so I'm going to put 50 in there but you would want to leave it at zero if it's the first one save and publish well you need to put a name okay and don't send anyone any messages okay so there we have it this is the one I just did because I had it set for 50 um, changed it to 50 days but you can edit and view you online you can even go in and change this if you want it to go out on day three or 30 60 whatever that's you can change that I'm just gonna leave it at 50 because I don't want that one to go out then you can scroll up and you can create a new one and you're going to do the same thing. Maybe this one you want to go out on the on day one. Make sure that you have it in the right campaign. And this is the second autoresponder. So I want to um, delay of let's see. No, they're going to get it automatically on the first day. So it doesn't matter about that. You can leave it at uh, same time signed up and it will go out the same time that they signed up on the first day. So that make sure that that's day one, or if you want to uh, have two to go out the same day, that's the way you do it. And then you're going to create your, your message and you're going to go through everything just like we did before, save and publish. And then, um, you're just going to go through the same same process. It's not going to let me save, I don't think, because um, oh, I didn't complete all the information. But that's how you do it. I'm going to leave this page. And whatever your autoresponder is, see, I have different ones in here. I can look at this one. And it shows all the autoresponders. And see, I have uh, the um, zero, zero, then one. Let me look at uh, one that I have several. Okay, I think this one I have several autoresponders in. Okay, and you can see how I have them set for my days zero, one, two, three. You just cr keep creating a new one. I must have had something important to say on that one. But that's the way you do it. And you just click the create new. That should get it. 
Okay, if you have any questions, just reach out to me and let me know, and I'll be glad to help you walk you through the process on this. The main thing is to get your uh, get response account set up. You can get that for 30 days free. As for Aweber, you know, a lot of people use Aweber, so you might want to get with your upline. I'm not familiar with Aweber. It's been a long time since I've used it, but anyway, that's how you set up an autoresponder and get response, and I'm sure that Aweber is very similar. So have a great day. Uh, be sure to reach out to me if you have any questions, and I'll be glad to help you out. Thanks.